Good evening, everybody. Matt here from Anchor Down Gaming, here to discuss the PlayStation 5 reveal, or what it's actually called was the PlayStation 5 uh, deep dive into the system architecture from Mark Surrey. Oh, uh, where do I begin? All right, so I want to get it out first and let you guys know that I wasn't overly impressed with this event, and I was a little disappointed, um, mainly just because it's not that I really expect it much more. I guess it's just kind of the way things got led into it. Um, you know, it was just announced on Sony's Twitter yesterday that they were going to do this deep dive. And then like literally like an hour and a half before it actually took place, there was stuff popping up saying that it was going to be like, you know, a 52 minute long event. And truthfully, I didn't expect it at all to be that long of an event. I thought maybe 10 minutes at the most, 15 minutes, you know, so when I seen that it was going to be 52 minutes, my expectations kind of went a little high. So what I was expecting at first was just, you know, I was expecting them to show the specs of the system, which they did, which is great. And I'm satisfied with the specs. I mean, I think that they look fine. Uh, you know, I'm not anyone who's crazy, crazy about power. As you guys know, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I'm a huge PlayStation fan, and I'm a pretty big Xbox fan too. Um, so power is not really the main thing with me. I know that this system is going to be able to compete with the Series X because it's PlayStation. Like, obviously, it's going to, you know, be competing and if anything, you know, out competing the Series X. So, you know what? The power is what it is. I'm not a spec guy, so I'm not going to get into that. I'll say a few things. I mean, it does have, um, you know, a, a bigger CPU um, than the Series X does. So that means it's going to be way faster from what I can understand. Other than that, the Series X has a much higher GPU inside of it, which means it's going to have better graphical capability and whatnot. But I mean, you know, teraflops, it's like 1.7 1. Uh, 1. in difference, which to me sounds a lot like the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Series, uh, or sorry, the Xbox Series, Xbox One X in difference. So, you know, like that, it is what it is. But I mean, I don't know. I just really thought that they would show what the system actually looked like. I was expecting them to show the specs and they did. Like I said, that's great. But I was really just hoping to at least see what the system was going to be and just the overall uh, delivery of this presentation for it being the first time they've ever really even talked about the system in general uh, for 2020. It just didn't go very well from what not only me, but a lot of other people think, too. And this ain't me bashing Sony. Like, I love Sony. I think it's going to sell amazing. I think it's going to sell way better than, you know, Series X just in PlayStation fashion. But the delivery could have been so much better. Like, I just wasn't excited at all. Um, and honestly, this has kind of killed my excitement a little bit for time being. They're going to have to bring something back and something back quick to bring not only me, but a lot of other people into the PS5 hype train. So... Like, just show us the system. Give us the controller, right? Show us what it looks like. I want to see what the PS5 looks like. Now, with that being said, um, you know, this was a uh, quick video. I just wanted to cover it, though. There's not really much else to say because I'm not a huge tech nerd, right, when it comes to specs and whatnot. But I will be covering the PS5 in full uh, with the rest of the uh, details and announcements on it and whatnot. So look forward to those videos, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with all my latest content. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at AnchorDown902 and on Instagram at AnchorDownGaming. And until then, everybody, have a great day.